good right hand by Golovkin. Good left hook by oh. Golovkin. And down goes Stevens. There it is. Passat Thunder. Matapos ang matagumpay na panalo sa isang pambato ng UK na ginadagalabkin ng 2013. Sunod nga nitong nakalaban ay ang tinagwarang assassin ng Amerika naman na si Cortez Stevens, ang American fighter na tila ba may personal na galit kay Triple J dahil hindi pa man nga sila nagkikita sa ibabaw ng lona ay samot saring pakuluna ang ginagawa nitong si Stevens para lamang galitin nitong si Gennady Golovkin kasama na dito ang pagpost nga nito ng iba't ibang mga larawan na mayroong nakasulat na rest in peace para kay Triple J at bukod pa nga dito kahit sa mismong araw ng kalalang laban ay nagpakita rin nga itong si Stevens na kanayang kahambugan matapos nitong harapang senyasan si Ganada Galabkin nakakatayin niya ito sa laban samantala na natili namang kalmado lamang ang middleweight champion na si Triple J at didepensa niya nga dito ang kanayang hawak na IBU at WBA World Middleweight Title Tara mga idol at tatinangan tong hayan kung paano nga ba naturoan ng leksyon ang hambog na kalaban na si Stevens. Art, so I do not expect a premature stoppage tonight. Curtis Stevens' big shot is his left hook. He just tried one against Golovkin moments ago. Golovkin lands a left hook of his own. Well, Triple G is doing a good job throwing out early with his jab, trying to keep Stevens away from him so he can't land that left hook. Think George Foreman. Think Lennox Lewis. Stevens, baddage from the armpit to the end of the fifth. Not Very hard body shots. So does Stevens. Here's a left. Had a pretty good amateur background. Very quick fighter. Golovkin lands a right cross. Left hook for Golovkin. Here, keeping his gloves up and focusing on defense. Now he tries a big shot and lands a, uh, the common thing to see Golovkin backing away from a guy, but he respects Stevens' power. And good left hook. Steven Speed. Good right hand for Golovkin. Stevens again takes it well. Golovkin wants to punctuate the round with something. Gets in a right cross. And power shots landed. Big to land. <laughs> and the threat of that has already dulled Golovkin's normal early rounds attack. And Stevens landed a left hook that knocked Golovkin's head back. There's a fighter named Darnell Boone. Well, other than the threat that a healthy Sergio Martinez might outbox him. That's what his corner wanted. Right hand for Golovkin. Stevens with another little counter left hook. This is the left hook there. Golovkin goes back to the... Good right hand by Golovkin. Good left hook by Golovkin. Oh. Down goes Stevens. There it is. And Stevens doesn't look all that good as he gets up. Nadi will go for the kill. 15 seconds in the round. He runs across the ring. Bangs Stevens into the ropes. 10 seconds to go in the round. Body shot. Looking upstairs. Misses with the left hook. Lands a right hand. Wobbles Stevens with it. One more right hand, and the round comes to a close. He has the with the means to land the heavy thunder. Yeah, but or Stevens fires back a counter right hand. Uppercut by Golovkin. As Golovkin jabs him into position in the corner, throws a right cross, gets in a left hook to the body. Now Stevens... Because of the punching power coming back at him. And that jab is really what's setting up everything for Golovkin. Golovkin has made an impression with both power shots, the left hook and the right hand. And now I would be surprised to see a thunderous body shot by Golovkin soon here. Two big right crosses by Golovkin. Partially blocked both of them. Get hesitant to go to the body with the possibility of a counter shot. Doesn't right want to trade. over the top by Golovkin. Real force <laughs> because of the power of Stevens. And the there it was. Body shot, there to the liver. Right hand upstairs. Another body shot. I mean, if you watch this, incredibly accurate. Because Stevens keep his hands at home with his offense. That's why Stevens is not throwing so many. 
putting the jab out would allow him to see what, what pressures to throw. Body shot by Stevens and another one. Best offense we've seen from Curtis Stevens since the first round. At least that third round just to clear his head after the second round knockdown. Of course, of course. Now well, let's see what he's telling his fighter as the round progresses. Oh, big body shot by Golovkin. Another body shot for Golovkin. This with the right hand. Think he's playing possum oh here, Roy, or was he hurt by the body no. shot? He was hurt by the body shot. Clean shots. And knocks Golovkin back and lands a left hook and brings some excitement to the Brooklyn fans. Got Stevens pinned against the ropes. Hey. And now Stevens erupts with two. Had he fought that last right hand with left hook, would have been right hand. Golovkin lands a, an uppercut and the left hook, taking advantage of Stevens' offense to counter. On replay, you saw Golovkin actually did a good defensive job there. Golovkin knocking him back with the jab, lands a right hand over the top. Stevens now countering Golovkin's big stuff with big stuff of his own. Like lands a left hook there. Oh, big left Whoa. hook by Stevens. Momentarily wobbled Golovkin. Good right hand. That didn't look like the left hook got him standing right now. <laughs> Good body shot by Stevens. He's way into the fight now. Right on the chin. Right cross lands. Good hook by Good left hook by Golovkin. When Golovkin works behind that jab, it's very difficult to deal with his offense. better when he comes forward and does not sit back and wait on Gennady Golovkin. But when he waits, Golovkin lands that jab and it starts his offense off and whoever gets their offense started first. Something Eastern European fighters seem to do very well. Body shot for Golovkin. Even though Golovkin's won all the rounds, Stevens is exposing a vulnerability to speed still very fast and, and hits sneaky home. Momentarily hurts Stevens. He's landed some good shots in this round. Now Golovkin with a body shot and a right cross. Golovkin's got to be careful with that uppercut, that right uppercut. You got to be careful of everything when he's on the attack like this. Tempting to throw it. Hurt him bad with that body shot. Good comeback uppercut and a right cross by Stevens. Stevens. And the left hook. Stevens Golovkin trying to measure him one more time. Yes. Right cross for Golovkin. Body shot. Uppercut, right cross, right cross. Like that, it's a dangerous punch to throw for Golovkin. Another right cross lands for Golovkin. Pulled Stevens with a couple of shots and is still seeking a knockout as the round progresses. Good left hook for Stevens. That's the counter shot Golovkin has to worry about. For Gennady, as he pins Stevens in the corner and looks to land something else big. And seems to break him down. You just get this sense that Stevens remains very dangerous with his punching power. Of course he's very dangerous and they're close. So that's where his arms are most dangerous at in, in close fighting. This has been a brilliant round for Golovkin to his high numbers for the fight. 18 of 47 for Stevens and yes, you saw Stevens' mom momentarily leave the arena. Who knows whether she'll come back. Six to nothing. 60 to 53, Gennady Golovkin. You know, Jimmy, you gotta give it. A lot of people have to do that. I had an aunt that had to, had to walk the whole time. I fought whether I was winning or losing. She had to walk the entire time. So sometimes you just gotta walk the nerves off. When Vince Dooley was coaching the Georgia Bulldogs in football, his beautiful wife, Barbara, used to walk the perimeter of the upper deck of the stadium through the entire game. <laughs> Golovkin's got a little bulldog in front of him right now. The corner wanted to know why Stevens was against the ropes. I think it was those body shots by Golovkin in the last round, but here Stevens is trying his best to stay in the middle of the ring. And now Golovkin tries to back him up again. Stevens has listened to his trainer, who told him, stay in the middle of the ring. But now Golovkin backs him to the ropes. And here... 
Golovkin's done a great job avoiding, but they still come here and there from Stevens. And for Golovkin, though, he doesn't really have to be this close. He should... But the Abel Sanchez style of wanting to get him out of there is making him go ahead and push the issue. And uh, the fans appreciate that kind of risk taking, and it's one of the reasons Golovkin's becoming a fan favorite. Good right hand by Stevens. Curtis is throwing punches and backing him up, and they want to see that from him. Seventh Good. round, balanced attack for Golovkin. 17 of 52 jabs, 27 of 48 power punches, 44 of 100 overall. Tremendous round. Yesterday, concussion. Golovkin's the guy who knocked him down with a punch. Submission, I don't see either guy submitting right now. For Triple G. Curtis left eye starting to close from the overhand right of Triple G's. And it's physical up, abuse. And Golovkin so far is beating him on the physical abuse. Yeah, but Stevens in the last minute has landed a flush left hook, a hard body shot with the left hand, a right cross, all hard shots. His chin tucks well, even if he doesn't always move his head. So he does get hit, but he did. Now right hand body shot. Stevens with a counter left hook to try to relieve the pressure. Really hard body shot by Golovkin, and Stevens backs up into the ropes again. He might have hurt him with that body shot. He did, Jim. <laughs> hard right cross. Yeah, it looks like if we get a knockout by Golovkin, it's going to be the submission of Will variety. By Golovkin, three of them in this round. Thunder on the liver. And Golovkin still alert enough to back off those up. Hard right hand body shot. Up oh, course, body shot. Physical abuse. He's... I, I see Curtis breaking down physically. Tremendous left hand body shots here in the eighth round. Still trying. The courage of Curtis Stevens. Bleeding from the nose now. Incipient beat down in Madison Square Garden. Stevens seeming to give in just a little bit here. Landed a left shot off the ropes. Harvey Dock watching, watching, watching. About to stop this one. It's because he's throwing back just enough to stop the ref from stopping it. Big right cross by Golovkin. Whipping Curtis Stevens into the corner. That's it. And they're going to stop it in the corner. That's a great stoppage. Andre Rozier had seen enough. That's a great stoppage because the temptation with a guy who hits like Stevens, who showed the host to let him continue fighting. To the contest, the official time, the knockout comes at the end of round number eight. The winner by that KO victory, still undefeated and still middleweight champion of the world from Kazakhstan. The undefeated Gennady Triple G.